recently talked about annuity products that provide a fixed monthly income for life starting from a predetermined date in retirement, very similar to a pension. Today we delve deeper into annuities with Morningstar Head of Retirement Research, David Blanchett. David, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. First, the basics. Annuities are a polarizing product. Some people love them, some people hate them. Do you think annuities are a good tool to generate income in retirement? And what kind of investor should consider this product? Yeah, I think that there's definitely mixed feelings about annuities um, on both ends of the spectrum. I think that, you know, first it's important to define terms. Um, an annuity for me is, is, an, is a vehicle that creates income for life. There's all types of flavors, but when I use the word annuity, I'm focused on, on guaranteed income for a retiree. Um, and then under that lens, uh, the answer is, do they help retirees? It still depends. I think that, that individuals that really value income certainty that would invest conservatively without the annuity can really benefit from the annuity. So uh, high level, I, I agree that there's definitely some disagreement about their value, but individuals that really want the benefit of income for life should definitely consider them. Interest rates are expected to stay low in the immediate term and maybe rise later this year or early next year. Does it make sense to delay purchasing an annuity until interest rates rise? I, I mean, it might. You know, I think it's really hard to predict interest rates in the future. I think that, that the longer you delay the purchase, the less you benefit from this thing called mortality credits. And so um, there is something to be said for dollar cost averaging. Um, think of annuities as a, as a long-term bond. And so um, if, if interest rates do rise, uh, they effectively become less expensive. I can buy more annuity at a cheaper price. And so if, if I'm someone who's worried about regret, about if I buy it today, what happens if interest rates do go up, then maybe buy a little bit today and buy some more tomorrow. I think that, that you know, waiting just with the expectation that rates will rise is, is possible. Um, but I think that if you want the guarantee, maybe ease into it right now uh, versus waiting. You mentioned mortality credits. Could you explain that, please? Sure. So mortality credits are this, are this kind of complex concept where when you buy an annuity, you're, you're pooling your risk. Okay, so there's the, the, the 10 people get together um, and they all agree that who, whoever is, is alive will receive a payment from this, this 10 person group for as long as they're alive. Uh, the benefit of that for those is if you're still alive. So let's say, you know, 30 years from now, in that original group of 10 people, only five folks are still alive. The payment that they receive is higher than if they'd individually fund the contract because they're getting the advantage of those folks that have passed away. So mortality credits is a way that you earn a, a higher effective return with an annuity if you survive longer. You studied a few scenarios for optimal asset allocation with an annuitized income. Could you run us through the key findings? Sure. So, you know, an annuity is, is a type of asset. And, you know, one problem, I think, with a lot of financial plans is that we often ignore guaranteed income on the balance sheet, right? So we'll include the value of um, qualified accounts and non-qualified accounts. An annuity has a value. Right? So you can estimate the, the net present value of the cash flows. So you know, let's just use a simple rule of thumb. We'll multiply um, the pension benefit times, times 20. Okay? So if you receive a, a benefit that's $50,000 a year, that's increased every year for inflation, let's just say that it's worth a million dollars. Okay? That, that million dollar asset is effectively a bond. Right? It pays you income for life that's guaranteed as long as you're alive. And the key Asset, impl asset allocation implications of annuities are viewing them as this bond-like asset and then possibly increasing the risk for the other parts of your portfolio. So high level, you know, one of the key benefits of investing is diversification. And so if I have a lot of bond-like assets on my balance sheet via annuities or pensions, I should take on more risk in my financial assets. And so the key with annuities then is to think about them and their risk holistically. So if the annuity is, is fixed income, if a pension benefit is fixed income, how does it affect the rest of my portfolio? Usually it means to be more aggressive. So again, the key is, is thinking about the risks of all of your assets, not just your financial assets. Thank you, David. Sure. For Morningstar, I'm Ruth Saldana.